Okay, well, hello YouTube. Um, I am remaking my video about how to get a backup Wii NAND, which is basically backup your uh, Wii memory once you're like hacking, in case your Wii breaks or something like that, and you don't know what to do. Well, right now, uh, I'm going to show you what you have to do to have a backup and all that kind of good stuff, okay? Now, let's see. <clears throat> Just gonna let Brawl load. My SD card's already in, so we should be good to go. Um, hopefully it doesn't, this doesn't happen like last time. To where it didn't load at first and I had to restart the video. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna pause it. So, uh, let's see. Just first. I'm gonna make the, uh, files for you later on another uh, video. I still am looking for a name, so tell me if you can give me a, new, a YouTube name. Go to Stage Builder. Now watch. It goes here, loads all this crap. Now, what you do after this, uh, wait for it to say press 1, yada yada yada. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can read that crap, okay? Let's see. Uh, hopefully you can read that on YouTube. Maybe it'll make the quality bad, but I mean, it'll be something. Oh yeah. So, what we're gonna do, once we're here, click 1. It's pretty easy. Right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, maybe. Right. Now, let me uh, get my game controller. Got it. Now, what you're gonna need to do, so the continue, now, I'm going to tell you how to install the homebrew channel later. But you're going to click boot me. I guess prepare a, a SD card. I don't really care. And then install boot me as an iOS. Um, now what you do, after you install that, which I've already installed it so I don't need to do it again. Return to the main menu. Click exit. Simple enough, right? Right? Okay. So, what you do after that. Once you're here. It's not going to be on your selection of stuff. It's actually not going to be there. See, look. What you're going to do is you're going to press home. It's going to be added to the list, and you're going to be able to launch boot me. So you click that. You're going to have to use a game keep controller for this part. Now, get it. Uh, go to uh, the Wii, the homo channel, your SD card, um, or your options. At first, I thought you'd go to your SD card, because I, I thought that would make the most sense. But no, you actually go to this, options, um, in case you can't see that, click this one, and then you'll see a list of stuff, Green, the green arrow pointing to the SD card obviously means it's going to go from your Wii to your SD card, the red one means it's always going to go for, from your SD card to the Wii. Okay, you're going to click this one, with the green one, first. Okay, now, I'm not actually going to do this, um, but, because I've already done this, actually, and what it does, it comes out with these gray blocks, um, and which mean it has not been checked yet. Well, actually, no, that's the white blocks, my bad, I'm sorry. Okay, the gray blocks are supposed to be bad blocks. The green ones are one that are good and already complete. Now, once it's complete, it'll take about ten minutes, five minutes, it varies, um, it's going to redo. It's going to check all the others, but it's actually going to go fast. That one will only take about two minutes. I recommend you do go through that one because all my gray blocks, when it went through again, they all disappeared. So I recommend you go through it again. Well, not actually start the whole thing up. Just let it go through and check itself. Um, and that is pretty much it. Once you do that, it will be on your SD card. So I'm going to press B. Once you do that, you will you can press this. Uh, the red edge, like, if you ever get bricked, you can put it back to your Wii, restore it to its normal state it was before, and then, guess what? You're not bricked. Okay, well, I hope you, uh, this helps a lot of people out there who are scared of being bricked. Um, I think that's going to be it, and I'm going to show you a few things, because... What else would I do for the rest of the video, right? I mean, I already showed my tater top bit, uh, 
hater cup break on the last one, and uh, since it's like 20 minutes later, they're all gone. See, look, see, no, no, no more for me. Right, right. I just had to eat them all. Freaking fat. Okay. No, I'm actually, I'm not really fat. I'm like the skinniest kid in the world. All right. Now, um, let's see. I'm gonna plug in my Xbox to show you a little something that I hate about its cooling system, which of course that just gave a huge hint away. And now you're gonna know what it is, of course. But let's let's see. Uh, this is what happens when you play for two hours on Oblivion, and out of all the time of playing, it decides to happen once whenever you're playing one game for two hours. Red ring, da da da. Okay. No, seriously, in all honesty, that's just gay. I have to send it in. It's going to take like two or three weeks to get back, but at least it is free, right? <sighs> Better than nothing. Okay. Uh, well, I guess while we're done, I'm going to tell you some uh, tips. So, I am going to go back, press B. Or, actually, no, I have to press the stupid arrow thing. Uh, go to Wii, homebrew channel, no, 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 Wii, okay, yes. Uh, I'm gonna get my controller. Now, actually, what you do here is, um, I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna wanna hack with the next video I make, which I promise I'll make that within the next day, I might make it tonight if you're lucky. Now, which I probably will. I just need a new name and then I can actually upload all my videos. I'll upload it on my normal account for now, but okay, listen to this. So, I click this because I'm going to tell you, you're going to need this to hack your Wii. I don't have a guide for Lego, Indiana Jones, the Smash thing. I don't know what the, no, I don't have the. So, I recommend you go borrow this. Or if you already have it, that's great. A lot of people do because it's, it's a really good game. Um, or you just rent it. Which, if you don't have... It's not it's not that expensive. Especially, you can just borrow it from a friend for like a day. Now, what you do now is basically wait until I come out the next guide. I'll tell you how to do this. And then, by the time you know it, you're going to have homebrew. Now, if you get bricked while installing homebrew... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be held responsible for that. It's like a 1 out of 100 chance or something that you get bricked during that. It's really slim. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put you on some elevator music. See how you like them apples.